Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I want to go ahead and talk about how Warner Brothers is kind of hiding, well, not kind of hiding, they are hiding the numbers for uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, the numbers that, you know, it's doing. Uh, this movie is literally breaking records worldwide, you know, from rental and streaming on HBO Max. It's literally getting to the point that this movie is breaking records in China. And the movie's not even official, you know, doesn't even have an official release yet in China. So I guess people have to watch it uh, not in a legal way and still breaking records over there in China. So, you know, pretty much I have to do this to show how sketchy Warner Brothers is, is being with, with this movie. Um, you know, I will show you like, you know, what I'm going to start doing right now is showing you all the stuff that is selling out is merchandise for, you know, from the movie. Um, it's insane. You know, you don't you don't even see the, the page of DC Comics, you know, kind of telling you, like, you know, go get your merchandise before it sell out. This stuff is selling out like crazy. Um, it's stuff that asks the fans that want more from, you know, this universe that that sex started. Uh, you know, we have to fight for this. We, we're, we're the ones that have to keep up and to show the world that this movie is a huge success. We literally, you know, reach a million tweets of the hashtag Restore the Snyderverse. It is insane that we have to do this because Warner Brothers is being sketchy about the whole situation. Um, so as you see here, as I, you know, as I talk about it, I will show you all this sell out you know sold out items from the movie um uh, yeah i don't know like it's like what, what do you guys take from this it, it, i i don't understand what is their point of view um i don't i don't understand how do you try to block um your fans that is trying to give you money <laughs> it's trying to give you more money a lot of money uh because Right now, what is happening is when it came to Zack Snyder's Justice League, it was only, you know, uh, the fans that, that really love Man of Steel and the movie Superman. But now that the world is seeing Zack Snyder's Justice League, everybody's loving the movie. So now you got everybody, everybody, like, I almost, like a lot of people, like millions of people. I mean, this hashtag will tell you alone. Millions of people are asking. For them to restore the Snyderverse, how do you go? You know, it, it, let's go back to August when they haven't seen DC fandom. We were all excited, you know. Everybody as a DC fan, we were all excited because they announced the multiverse. They announced like they were gonna go deep in the multiverse, meaning the only thing that makes sense to us as a DC, you know, fan. Is if you're gonna announce the multiverse, you can have all this with no problem. But no, that's not the case here. The case here for them is that they announce the DC multiverse, but they're trying to make it small. So how do you, you know, announce the multiverse and 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 yet you're trying to make it in a small way? That doesn't make any sense, you know. And what I mean by that is that Snyder can still have his universe, his little Earth on the side while they do whatever they, they're doing, you know, on the other side. It's not that hard. It's, it's insane. Um, you guys can um, go ahead and get on Twitter and search the numbers because the numbers are out there from all the streaming service uh, from, from Canada and um, Brazil, you know, it's around the world, around the world. I mean, it's insane that this movie is breaking records and we still don't have numbers because they're trying to hide it. Um, you know, I'm gonna go as far as 2016. I don't remember from where I heard it from. Uh, it was, I guess, somebody's uh, podcast you know, on YouTube. It's, you know, again, that was back in 2016. Somebody said that Batman v Superman did reach a billion dollars, but that, you know, Warner Brothers didn't say anything because they were really trying to move. They didn't care. So, it, you know, if that's true, if that's the case, that's not me confirming anything. If Batman v Superman made a billion or not, I would not be surprised if Batman v Superman made a billion, to be honest. 
but you know the Warner Brothers with the pride and ego they were just trying to move away from Snyder's universe so bad that it wasn't even about the money anymore because they were making you know I'm sorry I don't know you know how you would take this but Snyder's universe was bringing money you know um Man of Steel made the money and you got to combine the DVD and Blu-ray sales, you know, it made the money. That movie Superman made the money, you know, and especially if he made a billion, who knows, you know, what's the excuse then? What's the excuse now with Seth Snyder's Justice League? This movie is breaking records, but you're not going to hear that from Warner Brothers because they're pride and ego and they're just trying to move away from all this. Um, I don't understand. You know, they're, they're looking for box office hits. You know, they're looking for numbers. They have it. They're looking for, for, for great reviews and, and critics loving uh, their movie. They have it with Size Night Justice League. So, again, we the fans had to step in and show the world the numbers because Warner Brothers is not going to show you. So, yeah, I will keep everybody updated about this. I am letting the word out on, on Twitter, which you can follow me. You know, I will have the link down below on this video. So if you want to, you know, follow all this, if you are a Snyder, for, uh, Snyder fan, or if, you know, somehow you want to restore the Snyderverse, and that's another thing I want to, you know, let everybody know before I go. Restoring the Snyderverse is not only about Seth Snyder's movies. It's about what was coming before. You gotta remember, Snyder, in Snyder's universe, we have the AU cut. We have Ben Affleck's Batman. Uh, we're supposed to have a cyborg movie. Uh, Flashpoint, but it was a different Flashpoint. It's not what we're getting at all. I don't even, even want to go there because I don't even know what this Flashpoint, this new Flash movie is supposed to be. It's not even sounding like a Flash movie anymore. Anyways, that's what Warner Brother wants to do. So, again, that's on them. Uh, so, yeah, this, the Restore the Snyderverse is not only about Seth Snyder's movies. So, just keep that in mind. We're not just after Seth Snyder's stuff. We, we're after to restore what we were promised before. You know, it was a more connected universe, you know. So, yeah, just let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about all this. Uh, you know, I will keep you guys updated about all this stuff. The more, the more numbers I find online, the more numbers that will come out, because trust me, they will come out not from Warner Brothers and all the items that's going to keep selling out. I will save all that just to keep the world updated. So thank you everyone for watching the video, my video, and have a great one.